Welcome to Purple Bandidos, and welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon X. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we rode around on a Rhyhorn, and apparently Orange likes girls. Today we are going to be making our way inside of Glittering Cave and uh, exploring around here because apparently we're looking for some sort of scientist that the scientist knows how to use a machine, and we're, we're going to need the machine for something about a machine and something to do with fossils. But let's make our way inside of this eerie place. Does anyone else have that creeped out feeling right now? I'm kind of a little freaked out. And what the? Wait, whoa, whoa, what just happened? What the heck is this? Um, wow. Okay, so a soul rock just appeared out of nowhere to us. How did that happen? I have a repel out. What? Wait. How the heck did a soul rock just appear out of nowhere? I have a repel out. That this should not be happening. Um, I think this place is a little bit of a maze, and we kind of have to figure out uh, where exactly it is we need to go. And it looks like every time that we bump into something that is dark, we'll be bumping into a Pokemon which we need a battle, which is either going to be a Lunatone or a Soul Rock. This is weird. This is a really weird place, you know. There was this one time. I was running around this cave, you know, just by myself, just by myself, you know. I like to do that on my spare time, you know. Once in a while, I like to run around and explore caves and forests and, and crap like that, you know. I think it's, it's all in good fun. It's all a good time for me, and I, that's kind of what I like doing on my free time. So I was running around this cave, you know, I was a really little kid. And um, I was just kind of exploring it because they told me that it was haunted or something. I don't know. I was, I was a dumb little kid. I guess I just like getting myself into trouble. I started looking around, and I started... Um, seeing these weird, strange drawings, right? And I was like, wait, what the heck are these drawings? I'm like, oh, TM65 Shadow Claw. Sick, nasty. I will take that. And then I saw these drawings, and they were of people, right? And um, the, the drawings were made from red paint. And I was kind of like, well, what exactly, you know, does this red paint mean? What does it mean? I kept looking around, and then slowly, I started walking further into the cave and further in um, until I found something very dark and mysterious at the end. Which was a guy in a red suit, painting with people's bloods. And no, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. No idea who this guy is, though. Well, well, what do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come poking around, listening up with a fashionable team whose very names make people tremble in fear. Team Flair! Team Flair's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. We don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? No. Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't the stylish way to do things, but if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Get him, Houndour! All right, guys, so it looks like we're going to be battling Team Flare for the first... What is he doing? What is that little pose? Is he a ballerina? What is up with that? What are you? What is your life, bro? What are you doing with your hands? I don't know about you, but I'm just going to throw up a peace sign because I, I don't know what you're doing, man. You're kind of you're creeping me out a little bit, bro. You're kind of the, the creeping me out, you know, the, the creep mother. Fudge! Psybeam doesn't affect Houndour? Oh, mother fudge, guys. Oh we're, oh, we're in trouble, aren't we? I'm gonna go for the scratch. We also do have our Squirtle, though. Huh. Who would have thought? Squirtle. Kind of, uh, super effective to these Pokemon. You know, I should... probably. I'm probably gonna go ahead and switch out to Squirtle. Zula, come out. Zula is a little bit under leveled by, by uh, three levels. But, uh, we do have Water Gun. And, hey, if we could take down this dude, that would probably, uh, be very... Oh, my gosh! Can we... Are we faster than it? Oh, well. We, the smog. At least it's not going to kill us. That's fine. Uh, poison. That kind of sucks. But let's go for the water gun, Zula. Maybe you can uh, knock this guy down. Oh, yeah! Suck on that, Houndor! How you like that flare, Team Flare? How you like them apples, son? How you like the apples with the crust? How you like the crust? I like my crust cut off. I don't know about you, but I like my crust cut off, son. All right. Um, we forgot Tail Whip, we learned Bite, um, who's gonna be coming out next? That's what I'm about to see right here. Oh, crap. Don't let the poison take us down, please. Um, we're hurt by poison, kinda sucks. Zubat, yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch out. We, we can definitely switch out now. Alright, come on out, Fox. What does the Fox say? Fox says he wants to come out. That is, uh, that is the real shiznit behind the tiznit, guys. Let's go ahead and bring out Fox, then. I'm kind of really excited to see what Team Flare is about. Now, they actually remind me of the team from um, Hoenn, if you guys have ever played that. Um, it's kind of weird. I don't know. There, there's some similar areas there, which kind of reminds you of it. Oh, the wing attack's not going to do a whole lot. Eh, that kind of sucked. All right, let's finish him off with the flame charge then, Fox. And let's get out of here. We need, to, we need to keep moving. We need to get back to the lab, get ourselves some fossils, and keep this adventure going. You know what I'm saying? I just, man, I'm having a blast with this. I, I really am. 
I'm just kind of enjoying going at it and seeing what happens. We defeated Team Flare Grunt. You may have bitten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm going to give you props. Your suit's looking kind of good. It's kind of fresh. I, I'm kind of enjoying it. And whoa, so Tar is evolving. Yeah, buddy. There we go, guys. We have our first, well, from uh, from other, someone else other than Fox evolving. By all means, you evolve yourself. You carry yourself to another limit. That's what it's all about. You know, I, I think we're all evolving every day, guys. Philosophically speaking, not into another different kind of human species. Uh, congratulations, our Saltar evolved into Fletchender. Wow, that's actually cute. It looks like a, like a little Robin. Um, we want to learn the move Ember. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's forget uh, Let's forget Growl. Let's get some moves rolling. You know, I'm pretty sure uh, I think he just became a fire type. So whoops, we got two fire types. I mean, I guess it happens. Once in a while, you're going to have more than one fire. Oh my gosh, Zula's evolving too. I completely forgot, level 16. Kanto starters are evolving. Well, look at us, guys. Our team's moving on up. We're getting stronger. We're getting evolutions. And we just, we're all about this life, you know? We're, we're all about it. We're doing it right. And hopefully we can just keep on going. All right, so our Zula has evolved into War Turtle, which is awesome. There we go. Congratulations. Our Zula evolved into War Turtle. And uh, are you going to evolve now too, Snorlax? I I'm totally kidding. What's this? You're pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid. But well, watch yourself. I'm not the only member of Team Flare. Wait. There are more Team Flares here? No flipping way. You gotta be kidding me. Ooh, a Pokemon may be able to break it. Oh, mother fudge. All right, we're gonna start skipping these. So let's go ahead and battle them. All right, so we keep on moving with the grunts. I guess they're going to be all over this place, and we're going to have ourselves a doubles battle. Oh, man, here we go. Wait, no, we don't. There are two members of Team Flare. Well, then, are you ready to team up and battle them? Yeah, are you going to help us? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Finally, we won't have to go outnumbered into this. But, yo, for real, though, send out your strong Pokemon. Don't send out your... A little underleveled, you know what I'm saying? She always does that to us. Like, for some reason, we get in here, we start doing our magic, and she just starts getting all mean and, and all nasty. You know, Serena Serena likes getting all nasty up in here. Pros, I completely forgot that we have a psychic type already. I'm not used to having a psychic type so early in this game, so I completely blew my mind that most of these teams use poison types. And boom, we have super effective moves. Hmm, who would have thought, guys? I don't know. I, I guess I kind of figured that one. Um, oh wait, sweet. Um, what, what is that? What is that little Pokemon though? Esper? I've never heard of that Pokemon. Why does it look so familiar to me though? Esper reminds me of something. I don't know what it is. Oh, it doesn't affect Scraggy. Why? Oh, Dark type. What am I thinking? I need, I need to get it myself together. You know, there's so many. Holy mother! That did a ton. Well, I'm gonna try to take it down. I'm gonna try to take down the Scraggy because Scraggy's messing up my little buddy Esper over there, and um, I, I don't want anyone messing with my little buddy. Um, that did a, come on, covet, do something. Wow, that did a lot. Maybe we can actually win this. And Esper is down. All right. Well, Esper, thanks for trying. At least you, A for effort. You, you did an awesome job. Scraggy has Moxie. Well, fudge. Hey, at least Frogadier's now, out now. Um, I don't know why she doesn't send out Frogadier from the start. Like, for real. We're taking on here, like, a criminal mastermind, you know, corporation. And, and she's like, ah, let me send out my underleveled... Squirrel looking Pokemon. Uh, Zula grew to level 17. We're growing quite well. We defeated the Team Flare Grunts. And now, are we getting to where we need to now? That's what I'm really asking you guys. Yeah, high five, Serena. You're looking good. You're looking good, girl. You've been you've been working on them squats? Oh, man, my favorite fashionable Team Flare suit is filthy. If we can restore fossils, we can make some good money. Okay, hey, yo. Can you heal my Pokemon by any chance? No? Okay, um... Uh, let me go in here then. Um, wait, what did she say? What, what, did, what did she say? Let me double check again. I think she said something important. I'm a trainer protecting my partner. So what I do. Come on, let's go look for that researcher from the fossil lab. Yo, I've been looking. I don't know about you, but I've been I've been trying. You know, I've been A for efforting it around here. Uh, yeah, we're going to use another repel for sure. Huh. Wait, is that him? Yes, I think we found him. We also got ourselves an escape rope. 
Yes! Sweet! Let me go ahead and talk to him. Did you find him? Why, hello! Here to look for fossils as well? Are you okay? Did T-Flare come here? T-Flare! What's that, a Pokemon? Don't worry about it. It looks like he was completely absorbed in looking for fossils. You two are very lucky. I just now found two fossils, but they're both ones I already have, so I'll give one each of you. Do you want the jaw fossil or the sail fossil? I'm gonna take the jaw fossil. Um, yeah, I definitely want the jaw fossil. That's the one I want. Okay, so we obtained ourselves the jaw fossil. Uh, I think that one will be a pretty good one. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm kind of excited to see what Pokemon's in it. I'll restore your fossils and turn them back into Pokemon at the fossil lab. Hope to see you there. All right, see you later, bro. We'll see you back at the, the shop and, and get, get the magic going. Well, we went looking for the assistant. We found a suspicious group called Team Flare as well. I guess I should train more so I can travel safely with those Team Flare people running around. In that case, I guess the best thing to do would be challenge the Sillage City Gym. All right, so we got ourselves an escape rope. I'm going to go ahead and use that bad boy so we can get out of here. I, I don't really want to be sticking around this place. You know, Serena, you're a big girl. I think uh, you got this covered, right? You know, Serena, you got, you got this under control, girl. All right, um, well, let's go ahead and make our way back to the town then. I'm going to hop on this Rhyhorn. And, and let's see let's see what we can um, do back in the town. I, I think we've done a lot of good stuff today, but I definitely want to check out, um, honestly, what's hiding in this fossil. Something tells me that it's going to be a good Pokemon that's going to help us on our adventures. And, you know, I'm kind of excited to see what it is. I'm looking forward to exploring um, how every many, many Pokemon have been added to this region. And I'm hoping that, you know, I'll find a couple new favorites. I, I have a couple favorites from other... Um, you know from other regions and maybe maybe this region will even start filling those those gaps that uh that are still there okay let's get out of here yo thanks for your help Rhyhorn. i mean for real what, what kind of good friend would let you hop on his back and ride him through the mountains like for real i don't know if any of my friends would let me do that those bastards i'm gonna have to go ask them i'm, I'm gonna go check if, if they would let me no we don't need another rappel they would let me ride on their backs they probably wouldn't let me ride on their backs would your friends let you ride on your back i don't i don't even know okay let's go ahead and make our way back to the lab then. And we'll double check what's going on since we finally seem to have gotten ourselves a fossil. Yeah. And actually, I, I think we're coming close on the next gym as well. All right, where's this guy at? Is, is this him? Yeah, this is the guy with the fossil. Restore my fossil, son. Yes, turn it back into a Pokemon. Let's see what you got. I'm excited. How long is this process going to take? This is going to be like a three moon cycle like in Zelda or what's up? This is Tyrant. Please take good care of it. Okay. We received Tyrant. No flip on idea what a tyrant is. Uh, yeah, I, can I see what type of Pokemon it? What the heck is that? Oh man, that looks like a little little dragon. Looks like a T Rex. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Let me think of something really cool here. I'm gonna call it. Uh, looks like a T Rex to me. I like T Rex back in the day. I'm gonna call it. Uh, let me think. I'm gonna call it. I got it. I came up with an awesome nickname, guys. Um, it, it kind of makes no sense to me. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and call this Pokemon Smarms. Small arms? Smarms. There we go. So welcome to the team, Smarms. Um, with that, we have added, let me double check what Smarms is. I honestly have no idea, but it's level 20. Jeez, that's pretty cool. Um, Smarms is a rock dragon. Sick! We, we have a dragon type already on our team. How awesome is that? All right, guys. So we've added a new Pokemon to our team who is a dragon. Wow, that escalated very quickly who could add a dragon this quickly the next time we're gonna continue from here and probably make our way to Silage city so if you guys have any tips let me know thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode goodbye